always beware the training serving skew. The world you trained this model in is the world it's going to succeed in. Sometimes your training validation test data set that you use for prototyping just isn't like the data that you deal with live. And so that means any model that you've already tested, well, it works, just works in a different world. It works in the world you tested it in. And maybe it doesn't work in yours. This is your other nightmare. The first one was called what? Overfitting. Right. Training serving skew is the second nightmare. This is where you trained your model to work in some other world, and that just happens not to be the world you actually inhabit. And so great, your model works, just not in this world. In order to not be eaten alive by that, you'll need to do live testing and really think about what world you are dealing with. So, a classic example of this is fleeting changes in the data. Say you've determined that your world changes so rapidly that any data older than three months is just irrelevant. Shouldn't be part of your model, you only want the last three months. Cool. And now it's February, and maybe this is a, a retail situation, some retail application, and three months back does include Christmas. And maybe for your retail environment, Christmas is just a different planet for, from the rest of the year. Things are entirely different, but you need to succeed now in February. Maybe the information from Christmas is just simply irrelevant. It does more harm than good. Then you want to be able to exclude it. You don't want to have this attitude of, oh, any data I can, I want to use it. All of it is best. No, you want to get a rich representation of the most relevant world. And so if you get some rubbish that's not relevant, you want to be able to not see it. Now, if you don't think about this when you're designing your system in the first place, then maybe no one thought that it would be necessary to selectively blind the system. I have seen such stuff, by the way. And then when people go, oh, whoops, we actually want to exclude this day, they have to go and delete the data and rerun on all. This kind of thing happens especially if you uh, don't think about what happens if your logging breaks, which it might. Right? There might just be a day when pure rubbish is coming in and you don't want that day to influence your model. You don't want to have to go and root around and delete the original data. You would much rather just say, I happen to know that January 1st was bad. Don't look at January 1st. But then you have to design the system to, to have that capability. 